Hello guys. In this section we are going to create some data in our database. And so basically in order for us to create data in data in our database, we will be interacting with the generative client, the one that we have been neglecting prior to this. So <clears throat> A brief overview of what a generated client is, is anything, uh, what Prisma is enabling us is to have something that is connecting with our database, a plugin per se, and the plugin can be anything. So for, as a default, we have one plugin at the moment or one generator, and that generator is the one that generates JavaScript functions or methods that interact with depending on the model we have here. So it de generates depending on the, 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 the moment we put in a CLI command, and that CLI command will generate functions, and those functions are the ones that we will be using for creating, deleting, updating, or anything that is related to the database. So in order for us to generate our functions, we, what we'll do is, we'll use the command here, we'll say yarn prisma generate. Now it has generated uh, our functions and it will be, you'll be able to see it through the node module, but we won't go through that, that's a bit uh, unrelated here. So another thing we need to do when what we need to do is one thing to know of whenever we want to connect with a database we have to create a stateful connection with the database. So in order to do that, even when whenever you generate it will mention what you have to do. So we'll create a folder and that folder will be called not within Prisma. In the root directory we'll create a folder called config. And within the config, we'll create an index file, index.ts. In here, what we will import, as what it is suggesting, we will import something called Prisma Client. And this is the thing that is being generated uh, in the, for, 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 for the generator in this schema given. So it is add Prisma forward slash client. In here, what we need to add, what we need to import is something called Prisma Client, and this is the one that tries to connect or stateful connection with the database. So what we will do is we will export, and we'll mention const Prisma, and what we will do for the Prisma, we instantiate a new instance of a connection with the database. So we Prisma Client. That's how you instantiate a, a connection with the database. So next thing what we need to do is, as I mentioned, what we will do is we will create and get users. So we will, and we will go through the users and what we will go through is we will update our users.service. Within the users.service, what we will mainly focus on now is create user and get users. In here, what we need to import first is what we have done in our config so we'll say import from and it will be in the config and the config will be called this and what we'll import is something called prisma now in create user what we will do as well is we will uh, we, we will just mention as return and ret what we will return is prisma when you use the prisma the moment you say dot, you will receive several functions, several methods. And another thing you will may notice is book and users. These are the objects that are mapping towards our tables, our table called user and our table book. So what we will be using is for now the user table and we will use that. Now, in order to interact with the methods or use the fun methods that are querying the database, We'll create another, we will add another dot and that will be giving us the methods available for our model called user. So we'll be using, so since we are creating something in our create function, we'll use something called create. So in here in the create, we will receive, uh, we have some parameters in it. What you need to know only is just make a 
curly braces and within the curly braces there is something called data so that's needed for creating uh, a user so what we'll try to do is whatever we receive in the parameter we'll put it as the data for creating in our data in our database so we'll mention user detail now what it is going to do is whatever data we put in as the parameter here it will create uh, an object or a, a row in our database and we'll return the latest created data in our, from the database now next thing what we need to do is we need to update our user controller so we will go to our user controller we will import all as users service and what we will mention is it will be within this current directory user.service now in the create user we'll focus on the create user we will change it to a sync because um, this one this function user.create is going through the network and goes to the database so it may take some time in order to create something and because it's taking some time it, it is a promise function so in here what we will do in order what we will do is we'll say const uh, new user and we'll mention equals to await and we'll use the user service and we will use the function called create user the create user will put in as the parameter as what we need to import what we need to input in our parameter will be user detail and that will be anything for now anything that is within our request.body that's what we are going to create and in order to check out if you received something we will mention a log and console the log what we will try to log is new user other than that we will return to the user or the one who is interacting with the endpoint we will mention return um, response.json and we will return the new user uh, we don't need to change anything in the rod because we have already connected or added our functions here so that will be it for creating a user another one we, what we'll do as well is get users so we'll try to figure out to get users so then we are able to see all the users in the database but for now let's test out the endpoint called uh, let's just create a user and see what's the result um, I'm not using I'm, so in order to test it out I'm, I'm not going to use postman like usual but what I will be using is something called thunder client so that's an extension so you could check out thunder client here <coughs> thunder client so I'm going to use this one and you'll be able to check out as well if, if you want to use postman you're able to use postman but I'm, for now I'm going to use thunder client so I will go to the thunder client and what we will do is create a new request change some parts of it here and what I will change here is HTTP and we'll say localhost and it will be running on 3000 the endpoint will be um, in app.ts it will be in the users so we'll mention as users here and our body what we need to do is we need to mention what kind of data we want to insert in our body and that will be based on the schema prisma so we'll mention as id is auto generated so we don't have to worry about that oh, let me make it okay so id doesn't matter oh, okay my bad so name will matter so we'll mention name so we'll say john and the next part, part attribute we need to care about is email and we'll mention email as uh, john at gmail.com and the third attribute would be um, password and password we'll mention one two three four five six that will be it now let's run our project we'll mention yarn dev now it's going to run on port 3000 listening on port 3000 we will execute it and hopefully it works fine
Ah, before that, okay, I need to fix something, and that will be post instead of get, it will be post. Let me add. Let me cancel the request and send again, send back to it. So it will be post instead of get. So I'll send that. And we have received our results. So that will be name John and we received ID of one. And in our log as well, we are, have created it. So in line six, received the result of from the database. So that will be ID, name, John, email, John. So let's add another input, another one. So let's say John1 and John1 and the password should be okay. Now it will create another one with the ID of 2, John1, John1 uh, at gmail.com. Now we notice that our, uh, our create is functioning fine and it is creating something without the database. Now I want us to fetch all of the data from the database so what we will be doing is we will fill up our function that we have missed before so get users so in get users what we will do similar to what we have done in line 4 we we'll mention return prisma and then we we'll mention user and we will mention find many so that's another function and you will be able to see all the function all the amazing functions that you have it's through the documentation or through Tiny and other man, it is amazing. You will see a lot of things in there that you don't even need. You don't even think about you need it, but you'll be seeing. And if you think, um, check out whenever you think that uh, you you like you need to have a complicated function, you'll be able to see it through here what function there uh, exists. And if you don't understand every function, you could check out in the documentation. They have a really amazing documentation as well. So you could check out that one. So we'll say find many with this parameter closing without any filtering. So we'll say dot find many. Now the next thing would be, we'll mention user.controller. In the user.controller, we will make it as an async. And what we'll do is we'll say const users. I will mention await users of service get users and there will be any requested body. So that's the function that we need to use get users. And next thing would be we'll return a response.json with the result of users. Now let's run it again. We'll say yarn dev and we will create another endpoint. So we'll make a new request. But with the same, oh, okay, I need to, okay. So I'll be using the same one. I'll mention local of 3000, local 3000, and it will be a get method, and it will be without any body, but the endpoint will be called users. And voila, we received our data here. We're receiving all the data that we have in from the database the previous ones that we have created. So that's how you interact with the database and get users, create users or anything that is regarding to that. Don't you think it's simple? I, th I think so. So it, again, let's cover everything again. What we have done is in order to, in order for us to have the available functions um, uh, from the model so for the based on the model all the available functions what we need to do is we had to generate the uh, specific language for that particular uh, ORM so what we had to do is in order to generate we mentioned yarn prisma and generate and this generated our functions within the node modules Next thing what we have done, we initialize our connection, a stateful connection with the uh, database through a new Prisma client, which has been imported by the, from the generated functions that we have. So it will be Prisma client and Prisma client, we created a new instance, we exported that instance. Next thing what we have done, we have updated our user.service, our user.service, we imported our Prisma, and then we Based on the functions that we have created here, we added our Prisma functionality. So for every Prisma, 
plug-in model, you will be able to see it through the second parameter. You'll see it, the properties or objects that you have. So we have book and user and other functions, but we will be focusing only on book and user or anything that is regarding the models. You'll be able to see it here. <coughs> So every model will have their own object and their own objects. What they have is their own attributes and those attributes, no functions, I mean, and their functions, you could use it for creating, deleting or getting all of it. In the next video, what we will do is we'll check out with another additional feature that uh, Prisma has, and that is checking out whatever we have in our database. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, guys and hope it was uh yeah like if you have any issues or if you guys think that you can, you if you guys have any question regarding prisma just let me know in the uh, what would you say anything that is down below yeah thanks bye <clears throat>